Hi babes, how are you? If you knew how welcome my name is Michelle and today we're going with an update on Kate Middleton's health. You guys wanted me to read on her and here we are. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no faith. We are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles can be reversed in between energies. And as I always say, these readings are always for your entertainment purposes only and everything that I mentioned is under allegedly throughout the whole video. You're always given the legal disclaimers. Uh, another note that energies could be uh, in reverse and with this said, let's move forward if you hear noise it's because they're fixing the roof and i cannot do anything about it so <clears throat> we're gonna go with the hermit um the lovers in the reverse so right away we got virgo we got gemini we have the hangman right here planet neptune um king of pentacles again towards your capricorn seven of swords in the reverse libra Libra energies. Uh, we got here the Page of Swords again. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Well, we have very strong Gemini and Libras coming through. Again, Four of Swords. Again, very strong Libra over and over and over. And the Strength card we got here, Leo. And overall energy, what we got here is the Wheel of Fortune horizontally. Um, at the bottom, we got the Hero Font. Um, Taurus energy as well. So, <clears throat> my gosh. I do see that allegedly here they're trying to hide certain things here um it's it's allegedly being very hard for the husband right i forgot his name but there's things that they're hiding because they're trying to find other um i want to say other resources but it's like second opinions and other ways you know to benefit to get her better because i do feel allegedly here they're doing all these alleged tre treatments and whatnot and it's not succeeding as fast as desired or allegedly is not doing what they want it to do. So I just see they're seeking for other other uh, opinions, um, trying to keep it all very, very privately or as privately as they could because it's super hard to keep it completely private. Um, there's going to be a separation, but it's not like they're going to divorce or anything. It's allegedly she has to do some sort of treatment with this alleged other options away from perhaps home or so like that. And he has to do something else. But eventually, again, he is going to need her there, allegedly. Uh, when the separation happens or there's going to be some rumors about it, people are going to get it out of context. And allegedly, they're going to claim they're not together. It's not true. They're going to be together. Allegedly, she is just doing something else in a different place, allegedly and again um he needs to get things done and then you know he could meet her there or so but allegedly it's not like they're broken up or anything so if those uh, rumors spark just to disregard them i do see that he's under a lot of pressure too and he's a lot of he has a lot of worries as well allegedly uh they both are seeing things in a different perspective on different light um she is allegedly very worried as well because again not only her health but she's also you know a mom and as a mother myself you know it's very hard to be in that position it's super scary so allegedly here she's trying to see start to see things in a different perspective in a, in a different light you know um with the seven of swords in the reverse and the page of swords right here um i do see that uh some sort of like treatments allegedly may not work and they're gonna say hey it's not working da, da, da. and i do see that they're not taking no for an answer they're like hesitant and they're actually like trying their very very best to continue pushing forward um i do see um that she is taking time before uh taking time to think before speaking because allegedly there's going to be another announcement allegedly about the um effects or how is, is it working completely or so and they're gonna say you know they're gonna say what i told you but part most likely in a more professional way and she is allegedly going to be seeking for alternative treatments as well allegedly to try to do something about it you know uh, i do see that they're gonna take time out before saying anything i do see here that she is trying to be super strong for herself and her family um things are not allegedly looking as positive as they would want to allegedly here um i do feel like there's gonna be an unorthodox 
uh, treatment allegedly and what it could be considered alternative as well they're allegedly going to talk about it it's, it's called like unorthodox uh, medicine or something like that allegedly um, I do feel like what that treatment I do see that she feels it looks a lot better allegedly with those treatments um, and allegedly after she does that treatment in the future allegedly she's going to be looking a lot better because she goes back to be on TV in a way she perform. I do see allegedly there's some sort of bad news that can make somebody feel defeated. Um, it's like it's saying like for better or worse it's it is that kind of energy you know. <clears throat> the eight of wands in the reversed I do see that there's a deep connection in between her and her husband obviously I don't know why it's calling it's talking about Diana Princess Diana saying that she liked her a lot that she liked Kate a lot even though you know she I don't think she got to meet her but energetically she says she she liked her a lot for her son um overall this connection with her with her husband kate right and her husband is equal it's different people don't always understand it keep in mind that people don't have to understand relationships because relationships is about two people with the three of swords right here there's gonna be some sort of recovery but this recovery allegedly happens in a way that they were not expecting it to be like that it's like a bittersweet recovery i don't know why it is it's also giving me number three and number 32 <clears throat> this could be number five because three plus three plus five three plus two is five with the nine of pentacles in reverse um there's gonna be setbacks um, I do see this uh, it's talking about danger allegedly and as well it's talking about like you know to perform lack of faith and we cannot judge people because you know when we go through difficulties it's very hard to go to have faith you know so we are human we're not perfect all of us so no judging there um, I do see that allegedly this like unrealistic situations I, I just feel like things are not working the way they work expecting allegedly and this has a lot of sense of disappointment it's like allegedly going through so many places or so many options allegedly perhaps investing in so much money and not getting the result you wanted as maybe under the time you wanted right so i do see it's like a longer process than desired um i do see setbacks and like changes allegedly here I just see the internal way to perform like I said before it's like a bittersweet recovery but still it's a way a longer way to go still allegedly um I do see allegedly she's gonna start uh, looking uh, her hair was getting thinner allegedly and I told you that in the first first reading that I did on her um she may wear wigs again allegedly this could be also what I told you in the beginning She feels allegedly overwhelmed and disorganized. It's super hard. There's definitely tension, anxiety. Uh, they were not. This is like they're feeling unprepared for these changes, allegedly, for these news, allegedly. And uh, I do see as well that they're trying to work on responsibility with Capricorn energy, balance and harmony and alignment of everything because it's talking about mental health in a way to perform because as we go through difficulties and especially her own allegedly is very hard to keep your mind aligned. So it's very difficult and I do feel like they're both trying their best to keep the alignment, keep the peace and keep the balance not only for themselves but for their kids and for the people that look up to them, right? Because I do feel like they do care. Um, with Aries energy, the fool right here, uh, it's talking about spread your wings and fly kind of energy. It says right here that they were actually, I do see allegedly she is working on getting things ready because she was anticipating something allegedly. And, um, 
she's getting the care she's needed but i do see this uh, some sort of like anticipation and allegedly i don't know what's happening that people are going to get i don't know if it's something that they saw or something allegedly but they're gonna say hmm what are they anticipating for because it's like some sort of like i don't know comment or something like that allegedly that people are gonna be like huh it sounds like they're anticipating for something so people are gonna actually come to their own conclusions allegedly they're going to say things on their own perspective so be ready for a lot of like um i would say i won't say necessarily blind blind items but more likely like allegedly um conspiracy conspiracy theories into where allegedly they're gonna say uh it's like they're anticipating for something and allegedly in again get ready for hearing that too and seeing that too overall she's a very strong woman and she has stability i do see that overall she's doing her best and she's trying to keep positive in a way to perform it's hard but she is and trying to find stability we gotta pray a lot for her so she can actually you know get better for her for her kids for her husband you know And it's like obviously money is not the issue allegedly obviously yeah, i gotta say allegedly for the reason but we know the money is not the issue and it's just like it's like such an annoying energy because it's like okay i got the money right i can do this but allegedly it's not working the way i want it so it's like feeling hopeless even though that they have all these resources you know and that's the worst thing about these kind of sicknesses and illness that no matter how much money you got it's like out of your hands and allegedly that's the feeling it's like the anticipating for the unexpected is the energy of like okay i got this money we got all these things but then when you you know go ahead and it's not doing what you think it was going to or it's not doing what you wanted allegedly it's like the energy of like losing faith desperation anxiety you know that kind of energy that's what i'm sensing here and they don't want to make it public obviously because the illness itself is difficult enough and she needs her privacy you know what i'm saying if she's entitled to her privacy especially when she's trying to do her best to recover i do see that she is allegedly trying to take life as it come as it as it comes she's trying to take life as it comes it's like positives and negatives uh there's gonna be a lot of people having arguments like i said before making their uh, conspiracy theories and all that so again get ready for that don't get involved into that because again conspiracy theories are always kind of always wrong um this is all about timing is having patience and you know wait it out to see how it turns out because they're doing everything they can to make it better i do see that in her energy so largely as she heals and tries to heal there's a lot of nostalgia um her family's her comfort um but um there's nostalgia because you know i see her energy i do see her two kids and she's like thinking about like i want to be here for them what would i be if i'm not here with them i actually you know thinking about all the things i could have done would i had the time you know nostalgia when you are going through situations like this that you have this energy of like i could have i should have and that's what she's at right now she's very uh emotional allegedly and sensitive and that's why we get we gotta give her a lot of empathy we gotta give her a lot of compassion if you believe in prayer do that as well uh, she's in a very tough situation allegedly and all she needs is good vibes not diff like more difficulties and that's why i'm telling you that if you care for her and you like her so uh just pray for her and every time there's like a negative comment or so do not even interact with it just block it so you don't give foot to negativity you know finally um, it says right here that we are the force energy is the force meaning that if we all put together the same energies to send her good vibes we could actually if you believe in it of course help with a healthy vibration towards her her family and give her a long long and perfect good life with a lot of health for her for her family in general you know so i do feel like empathy is what they need at this very moment and again there's going to be a allegedly a lot of like um what is it called conspiracy theory saying like oh they're gonna replace her allegedly and just oh my gosh just don't give in to that at the moment you know if you see it as entertainment okay but do not give in to that because allegedly these are just people who don't have empathy anyways let me finalize here for y'all guys um here 
we're gonna give a spiritual this is a spiritual animal deck let's see what spiritual animal is for her and what message excuse me this is the hedgehog and it says trust and it says this is a reminder that even if you feel that others do not understand you or get what you're doing it is not an excuse to curl up and hide sure you may need a little bit of space right now but the world needs your gift you are more than worthy so pretty I like that message oh my and look at this at the bottom we have patience which is the panther and it says i'm sorry panther which is guidance it is time to release your passions live your dreams and begin a new chapter in your life you are encouraged to expand your awareness eliminate the fears and become a whole new person you are guided and protected so with this said guys i hope you guys liked it if not i'm sorry i did my best we'll be here anyways but anyways i want to encourage you to please follow me here subscribe if you want me to read about somebody else please comment down below so i can see it and then add it to my list keep in mind that i've been sick for a whole week and i'm trying to catch up so it may take a bit longer because i need to catch up also i want to encourage you to follow me on tiktok i'm also on instagram i'm on facebook i am on spotify i'm on twitch i'm on discord i <clears throat> offer personal readings as well and all the links are going to be always in the description box below in our bio here thank you so much for listening and have an amazing day